Why haven't we started our YouTube channel? I wanna know. Today's the day. Hello, my fellow artists. It's welcome back to another video. Today's video, I want to drop some gems, okay? It's going to 2023, okay? It's time for us to start our YouTube channel. As artists, we feel like, oh, well, they're not gonna wanna see that or they're not gonna wanna see this. That is gonna be left in the past, okay? So, I'm gonna be giving you guys today a few tips of mine and a few content ideas that you guys can do as an artist because it's time to start our YouTube channel, okay? To those of you that do not know me, my name is Layla and I'm an artist as well as a creator of content. <laughs> so lately, that's how the wave has been, an artist, we have to do that now. It's a bittersweet thing, but there is a way. So let's get to it. We're starting off with, I would say, seven of the ideas, video content ideas that you can do. Um, these are ones that I do for myself, my content that I'm starting to do for 2023. I think you guys should take them in. You guys get these as ideas for 2023, okay? Starting with number one. This is one of the most popular ones, I think, in terms of how I observe the content world. So the very first one is aesthetically pleasing, I guess. <laughs> Art montages, okay? It doesn't have to be super, super long videos, but just videos that are like a collection of an aesthetic of art. You know what I mean? Aesthetic vary and art varies. So I would say put it in your personal way. You feel me? The second one is a more obvious one, which would be art tutorials. Art tutorials can range from how you guys paint, your methods of painting, tutorials on how you use certain types of paint and things like that. Art tutorials, oh, they're simple and easy. You can look up on YouTube yourself and see the type of art tutorials they have on there and take notes and pay attention. Now, the third one is also a popular one in the content creating world and that is vlogging, <laughs> video logs, vlogs. I really love watching vlogs. I'm always on YouTube watching people's vlogs and things like that. So there is an audience that are, is interested in vlogs, you feel me? So my thing is I would suggest you guys taking notes. Hopefully you guys are taking notes. I just thought about this. Grab your pen and paper, don't forget, okay? We should put, we should have more of this, honestly, and I, I don't see it as often. A lot of artists really should get into making vlogs, you know, day in my life as an artist, things like that. So, you know, putting your personality out there and just kind of like bringing people along with you as you do things in your art world, you know what I mean? Because honestly, it can be interesting if you know how to set yourself right, make it aesthetically pleasing, but to yourself, fitting to yourself and your vibe and perfect for the content, you know what I mean? So yeah, vlogs. And the fourth one is more, I feel like it's a little bit more trickier if you have experience as an artist and things you've learned and things like that i would say this is a great topic idea okay and the fourth one is story times doing story times as an artist so i have a few story times of certain things that i've experienced as an artist and you know there's something wrong with sharing that to help your next fellow artist not make those same mistakes or help them be aware and conscious of you know, things like that. Oh, you can always exaggerate your title for the story time. It's like my first commission horror story, you know what I mean? If it was something that was just so unorganized and unplanned and just messy, you know? Definitely, I would say getting the story times and making it a bit exaggerated and animated, but making it a learning lesson for your next fellow artist, okay? So the fifth topic idea is to do um, art time lapse. I see these a lot and these aren't necessarily my favorite things to watch, but I would suggest to you guys that if you wanna do an art time lapse, I would say doing voiceovers and talking over it to kind of keep the person entertained. You can make up a story, but I would say, I really would suggest using a voiceover to keep the people, keep them engaged, you know what I mean, while showing your art process. So the next one, I believe this is six, yes. This one is more of like the funsy type content. All of, the, all of this content is like fun, but you can, make this one a little bit more fun and kind of having themes to your content. So the sixth one is having themes for your content. So say for example, in my example, I'm gonna use painting because I paint. So creating a painting using all green, you know what I mean? Just using one theme or something, things like that. You know what I mean? So yeah, that's the type of content that you make, basically like challenges and just spinning it art edition, you know what I mean? So yeah. So the very last topic that we are talking about today 
is giving art advice, you know what I mean? So this is similar to the other one where it was like your story times and turning it to make it a learning lesson for your next artist out there. But I would say giving art advice is one of the best things that you can do, especially as something somebody that has gone forth and had an artist's journey and has learned a lot of things in their art career, you know what I mean? So yeah, that is an easy one, honestly, is giving art advice when you can. So yeah, that is all for today. We literally, we literally have a few days until 2023. So we are going to do this, okay? We're, we're starting that channel in 2023. I am working on my second channel right now, okay? And I really felt like I was not entertaining enough and I just wasn't giving information right and things like that, I was just boring. And although I felt and I doubted myself as a content creator and a YouTuber, I wouldn't consider myself that, but as a YouTuber, I would say that I kept going, you know what I mean? And I didn't give up. So I would suggest you guys not to do that either. There have been videos that I've made that I didn't post because I just held myself back. But we gotta stop doing that, okay? So 2023, let's start your YouTube channel today, okay? So that you could be ready for 2023. So <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And thank you guys for watching. Please share this video, like, and comment what you think, which of your topic ideas was the favorite. So yeah, see you guys later. Bye.